So a, a big theme of this conference has been the need to communicate and collaborate effectively in a remote first workplace. In the next demo, Fiona Soderberg of Google for Nonprofits will cover some tips to uh, nonprofits get the most out of Google Forms, Calendar, and Hi, everybody. My name is Fiona Soderberg, and I'm a program manager at Google.org. Today, I'd like to go over three quick tips for nonprofits for Google Workspace. First off, what is Google Workspace? Google Workspace is Google's suite of productivity and collaboration tools. For Google Workspace for nonprofits, you get access to one edition that gives you the familiar tools like Gmail, Docs, calendars, and slides. And then you also have the option to go to a discounted, more advanced version if you'd like. Like I said, it's the, those familiar tools that are designed to work from anywhere on any device which is specifically um, and more important during the pandemic. It allows you to connect and collaborate in real time with team members, donors, and volunteers. It gives you great storage of 30 gigabytes per user and shared drives, and also gives you access to Google Classroom, which is great if you're hosting trainings or events. The three tips that I'm gonna to cover today is Google Forms, how to quickly and easily make a spreadsheet from your volunteer signup, Google Calendar, create and publish an events calendar for your organization, and then Google Groups, create groups to communicate with members and volunteers. All three products within Google Workspace. Firstly, how to make a spreadsheet from your volunteer sign-up form. Do you ever send out forms to your volunteers, get a bunch of data back, wish it was already in a sheet so that you can ma manipulate the data and crunch the numbers as you'd like? I can show you how to do that in one quick click. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to forms.google.com to see your database of all the forms attached to your account. Click on the form that you would like to make the spreadsheet for. It'll open up the list of questions that you have created for your survey or your form that you've sent out to your users. There's a responses tab where we'll have a summary of all those responses that have come back to you. And then the really neat thing is at the top, uh, on the right-hand side, there's a sheets icon and with one click, you can click on that and you create a spreadsheet of all of that data for you to be able to manipulate, send out, uh, do whatever you'd like with it. The next tip is how to create and publish an events calendar for your organization. So if you ever struggle trying to get all your volunteers to get the right details of an event, you don't wanna share your personal calendar or your work calendar, well, this is a way to create a calendar for the public, for volunteers, whoever you want, to be able to see specific calendar meetings and invitations. First thing you do here is go to calendar.google.com. On the left-hand side, above other calendars, there's a plus button and you can create a new calendar provide a name and description. Here I'm going to make sure to give a description that reminds you that it is a public calendar so that I know that I'm posting uh, public events here. You can create the calendar and it'll show up on the left hand side navigation of all the calendars you own. You can click into it and then have uh, access to all the settings like access permission for events. You can make the, event, the events public. Uh, you can also copy the link to share the calendar with your volunteers, wherever it is. You can also directly add users to the calendar so they can edit and also share and use the calendar as well. So I've made this calendar publicly available. I've copied the link. I can share it with who I want to. I can also create an event on my personal calendar or my work calendar. So let's say it's a meet and greet and I can change the calendar to be that of the public account events calendar that I want. Click save. It's color coded so I know the difference and then it is available to all those users who have access to the calendar. The next one is how to create groups to communicate with members and volunteers. Have you ever struggled keeping a sheet full of all your volunteer email addresses, Gmails, MSN, Yahoo, whatever it is? Would you like an easy way to be able to email all your volunteers in one place easily and quickly? Well, we have Google Groups, which is a great solution for this. So if you go to groups.google.com, left-hand side, click Create Group. You want to name the group something that is indicative of those folks who will be joining the group. So let's say nonprofit volunteers here. That will be the first part of the email alias followed by your organization's domain. You can create it and choose who can uh, search for the group, who can join for the group, and then who can view conversations, can post and view members. This way you're setting up that group for only the people that you want to add. And you can either add them directly yourself or you can go ahead and share the group with them and they can request to be added as well. You can add a quick welcome message for anybody who does join, just as a reminder of what the group is for. 
So there you have it. Once you add all the users to this group, then you have one email address that you can send out an email to all of your volunteers. So how do you get all of these great tools under Google Workspace for Nonprofits? First, you need a Google for Nonprofits account. You go to google.com slash nonprofits, review the eligibility requirements to make sure that your organization is eligible, request an account by clicking Get Started in the upper right-hand corner, wait for verification with TechSoup, and then you can activate and use the suite of Google products and tools that we have for nonprofit users. Specifically for Workspace, that means signing up for Google Workspace, verifying your domain, submitting it for review, and then signing into Google Workspace Admin Console and get going. But all of this can be found at google.com slash nonprofits. Thank you.